It is once again time for another breakdown, but most importantly, it is time to learn a secret move to catch those upper belts. So let's get started. Our enemies are innovative and resourceful, and so are we. So now taking a look at my blue belt match from 2021, that is me with the short hair. Again, a blue belt, now a brown belt in 2024. Please like and subscribe if you like the breakdown. Right away, we're going to start with some butt scoots, all right? My opponent stepped away from my De La Hiva, so I just went ahead and butt scooted right to him. We're going towards out of bounds, so we're going to get stopped real soon right here. He's trying to pass, but doing a good job of keeping my knees and elbows connected together. All right, so we go out of bounds, and right away, we look to stand back up. This time, I don't look to pull guard. Instead, I look to wrestle. From here, I take my shot. Boom. Good level change, and I take him down. So when we look at that, you're going to notice I run on my knees three times, all right? Very bad technique. But I do a good job of turning the corner, taking a big step up with my right leg, and using my head to drive everything to the right as I take his legs to the left. As I take him down, we land right in his guard, okay? I should immediately be looking to put hands on his chest, getting hands off the mat. But as you see, my left arm is on the mat. He's looking to put me in rubber guard, okay? So just a simple way to get out of this is, again, pushing on his chest or just kind of limping arm out as I push on his chest. But I, I am keeping that left hand on the mat for some reason. As I posture up, I look to just keep that left hand on the mat. Okay, my opponent's going to end up letting go of this, uh, his leg, and now we're just going to go right back to his close guard. I do a good job of keeping my hands on him this time, keeping him off the map, but the ref is going to reset us. And with that being said, with this little intermission, all right, please like and subscribe if you like the content. Comment on what you like and dislike, okay? Here we go. All right, my hand's going on his chest again in his armpits now. I'm looking to stand up, but he kind of pushes me away with his leg. A little aggressive, but that's all right. That's all right. I mean, I, I am a small guy compared to him, so it was probably like a fraction of his strength. As you see, I'm over standing on my collar ties very sloppy especially considering the height difference and boom i take my shot and i land on both my knees this technical mistake now allows my opponent to get a nice little cross face which brings my head to the center and i can only drive him back instead of driving him to the side and this ultimately stops my double leg using his overhook my opponent tries to go for an uchimata but instead of kicking his leg back he almost goes for like a split squat right here and this allows me to catch myself as we reset now we go to a little bit of a blue belt hand fighting right here okay Doing a little bad job of overreaching, not getting inside. My feet are constantly getting square, as you see right there. All right, not really in a good stance. He goes for a duck under without the duck, but he gets his overhook from it. From here, he tries another Uchimata, but I just stuff the leg, step over it. Uh, a little too easy, if you, if you, if I say so myself. But now he goes for another Uchimata, and boom, Jesus I land Christ. right on my face. All right. From here, my opponent's not really looking to get on top of me. He's going more to his back, so I gotta be careful of what I do with my left hand. My right arm's trapped. My left hand is now controlling his le or his right leg. Okay, I gotta be careful about putting it in because I might get caught in a triangle. From here, I should be looking to square up with him. I'm starting to sit to my butt, which is very bad news. I mean, this this could cause him to come on top. But he's, again, he's not really looking to come on top. I'm, other than the triangle, I'm not too sure what he's going for. Now from here, I'm going to start turning into him as I get my arms free and I get caught right here in this triangle. But this is a wrong side triangle. I use my right hand to start pushing in the knee pit and I pass. Now I'm on my knees. My opponent goes for a Kimura grip. We got him. And the trap is set. My opponent goes for a Kimura. I immediately put my right hand to my belly and I step over the head, turning his Kimura ah, yes, into an arm bar. So if we look at that a little bit slower, you'll see he goes for the Kimura. I'm going to immediately pinch my right hand into my belly, trapping his wrist. As I go, I step my right foot over, looking to put my toes underneath the shoulder. As I rotate, my hip should follow, okay? My toes go a little outside, but I do a good job of pinching my knees in to keep that arm trapped. From here, I should fall to my butt, but as you're going to see, I fall straight to my back, almost knocking myself out. Now just hand fighting from here again, looking to break the grips, okay? He throws his leg over. I need to immediately look to take it off, but for some reason, I am just keeping it there. I'm doing a good job of keeping my knees pinched. All right, but I am not addressing the leg. It's going to allow him to start coming up. He does like a half Z comes up, but he goes right back down. This buys me enough time to get that leg off, and we finish with an arm bar. Boom, let's go. Again, please make sure to like and subscribe.